So, just got back from one of my hikes and wanted to share a little bit about what we've been talking about in the groups this week. And it has to do with clearing up a common misconception surrounding meditation. Now, I use meditation in a lot of different aspects of what I teach, ranging from martial arts to yoga practices. And there's a lot of different ideas about how to meditate. All of them come back to uh, focusing on mindfulness. And I'll give you an example of how we normally get started uh, with one of them. And it's I'll have people begin sitting on the mat. And I'll just tell, tell people to connect with their breath. Just don't think about anything else but your breath. And as you're doing that, let go of all of everybody else's drama. Let go of all of your drama. Let go of that thought loop, that thing that's been going on in your head, that conversation or whatever that just keeps turning over and over. Just set it down. You can have it back when we're done, but you're just going to let it down for a little, let, let go of it for a little bit. And just be present and in the moment. No past, no future, just right now. And this is really hard to do. Um, and most people, you know, will try really hard. And if they're lucky, they'll make it maybe 60 seconds, 120 seconds, maybe. And then something distracts you, another thought comes through, and we try and push it away. And, you know, one of the techniques I like to share to, to pushing those random thoughts away is, is to think of it like a leaf floating down a stream. You know, as it comes by, don't resist it. Just observe it and just acknowledge it and let it go by and let it pass. And this is a pretty good technique. But even this, it, it's difficult to do. And these things, these distractions keep coming in. The practice is not about just clearing your mind and having it be, you know, you know, blank and no distractions for, for your hour or however long you're going to do this for. Uh, it's about learning how to come back to this space. And in the beginning, you probably won't be able to hang on to it for very long. But every time you get distracted, every time, if it's by a thought or an external noise or something like that, just come back to your breath, feel yourself getting grounded and just keep coming back to that space. And then you'll hang on to it, and you know, maybe you just hang on to it for a few seconds. Maybe you hang on to it for a minute or a few minutes or whatever. Stay there as long as you can, but then just, you know, when something comes up, just keep repeating that process. And rather than worrying about things distracting you, look forward to it, because Eve, every time you're distracted, this is an opportunity for you to learn how to come back to this moment. All these practices, you know, you got to take things, you got to be able to take it off the mat. We, we practice these things in yoga or in martial arts or whatever your practice may be. It's not so that you can just go close yourself off in a room and, and, and be Zen. It's so that you can learn how to bring that Zen into every aspect of your life learning how to be the calm in the eye of the storm, being able to find that mi mindfulness not because of your circumstances, but in spite of them. So look forward to those distractions. Every distraction is an opportunity for you to practice coming back to your breath, being grounded, and letting go of that stress. So, uh, you know, hopefully uh, that helps. Uh, I'll share some more meditation tips and things that we like to work on. Uh, but but this, is a, this, this is a big start. So if you're meditating, you know, kind of focus on this. If you haven't been, I really encourage you to start. And like I said, I'll put some more uh, videos up on different uh, techniques that we like to use. And, and uh, so if you have any questions, please, uh, you know, feel free to ask or post your comments. Always appreciated. And if you uh, find any of this helpful, please like and subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel. And... Uh, until next time, you know, practice some meditation.